All right, so in today's video, we're gonna take a look at these 1,500 lumen light bulbs. And I got these for my building. Someone installed some cold white lights and there's, I think two stories where the light is super cold and it's fucking up my mood every time I, I come home, basically. And so, and so we're gonna do the Big Clive method and reduce the power on these because 1,500 lumens, 10 watts, although highly commendable, shouldn't be incredibly long lasting. Just for reference, I'll show you guys what is my favorite light bulb, like general purpose light light bulb, not decorative. Uh, this is 2700 Kelvin, 1800 lumens. Let me see if I can zoom in. And this is a very serious bad boy. You can't see it, but I have brought in an aid and check this out, right? So let's zero this out. And now this is fully potted, right? Has the driver fully potted inside, fully coupled to the aluminum housing. And there's a huge array of light, of LEDs on the front, right? So what was it? 330, right? So this is as much as a proper iPhone. And this is 35 grams. And in all honesty, right? This does have 300 lumens extra, but yeah and i've had only one of these fail and i think i have uh, about five installed in active use but in very low use right so i'm really not pushing these um my mom actually managed to kill one of these and she has one of these roughly same thing a thousand two hundred five hundred lumens just a very powerful small form factor super lightweight bulb and it hasn't actually failed in about two years, which is rather impressive. That one is super baking every day for a few hours. So um, I don't know. I still want to say these are worse, but from an e-waste perspective, when you throw away 350 grams, it is a way bigger deal than right throwing away a tenth. And so, but anyway, this would be a pain in the ass to reduce the power on because as I've said, everything is completely potted. It's a nightmare to open, but these should be more okay. Uh, these are Lexman brand, uh, which is yeah, not bad, not bad, to be honest. How many, anyway, CRI should be rather shit. Does it mention it on the bar? No, it doesn't. Anyway, so let's try and yank it open. I'm expecting it not. Oh, but it does. All right. Yeah, I would have expected a bit more, but and keep in mind, I am pretty weak shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these come open pretty easily. And now let's just slice. Oh, uh, do we do a test now? We just leave one, mod one, and then do the test. That way, I do have everything set up here for our power measurements i don't think this was ever plugged in so it should be rather safe to touch and we're free So yeah, the resistor we're gonna have to swap in this case is that one over there on the bottom. You can see there's two spots. Most likely that's the sense resistor, but we'll see. And the way these come off as per the usual is this rivet comes off. Super good on excuses, but yeah, this was very difficult. And the other wire should be pinned, crimped somewhere around these lines, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. We'll see. Yeah, we can probably make do with this much access. So we have a very minimalist, uh, seems to be non-isolating buck converter. And so let's zoom in there. Excuse my nails and fingers. So we have, we have what seems to be 
a bleeder across the LED, right? Just to add some load. How big is that? Three. 360k okay that's quite a big resistor and uh, what else we have the chip two capacitors which are very nice and yellow and how many ohms do we have there ah uh, let's see two point four ohms okay so I'm gonna add or let's say four ohms five ohms somewhere around those lines so I'll do that and then we'll come back to the power test all right I think I did a rather decent job of this so now we have a 5.1 ohm resistor in there i'm hoping r6 and r4 are in parallel let's hope so and i'm hoping i didn't bridge these two over here because if i did uh, it might blow up we could measure it do we no nah. it's gonna blow up this track probably let's see so, first of all, we have to feed that wire in. Now, so they have this bracket for the for the board, but I'm pretty sure they weren't using it because there is no way in hell it's going to fit in there. Which is a bit of a shame, but nah, whatever. You know what, I think this actually wants an angle to go in, and I might have to actually twist these ever so slightly, which I'm not super happy about. But I should have marked it. I have no idea where it's supposed to go in, so let me see if I can see the scratch marks. Hmm. Yeah, right, so this is pathetic. I've bent the board pretty seriously, but then again, this is a two euro light bulb and I've reduced the power, so should run a lot cooler, should be fine. If these are shorted out, it's a constant current driver, so that's gonna be fine. If the input's shorted out, there's a fusible resistor on the wire, should be fine. Let's do switch off the mains first. <clears throat> Right, so boom. How much are we getting? Five watts. All right, yeah, not bad, not bad. It is rather bright. Everything is operational. I wonder how many volts these run at. But anyway, let's see what the original one does. It should be how much? 11 watts? Did it say 11.2 watts? So let's measure some voltages and then I'll do the other one and then we'll be done. Should bring my sunglasses though. One forty one point five. On the volts, and let's see the other one. I've really done a number on those legs. I've, the board was supposed to sit in the in the grooves apparently because it was way higher up in the original. One thirty six point eight, right? So not a big voltage difference, but. When you're running the LEDs right at the edge, it uh, the current spikes off, spikes up 
quite aggressively and non-linearly. Oh uh, yeah, let's do this one. A lot smoother indeed. I know the board is not in the seat, so yeah. I think we're gonna just leave this one as is completely. I don't wanna butcher the plug on the end. And does it have the same resistor as the other one is the question. Let's see if it can. Yeah, 2.4. All right, so I'm gonna swap this one in for the same four, uh, four ohms or what I've, what have I done before? I don't know. I don't remember, but I know how to find out. Yeah, so we did 5.1. And let's just take another one out and we will be done. I mean, I'll be done. You guys should continue watching videos on my channel and my channel alone without ad blockers. Please, thank you. Okay, so that's the second one done. decent now let's see if i can put the leds back on because yeah i don't know somehow it was very traumatic the first time around but we'll see a right my learning curve in action here Still not as chill as I would have wished, but let me see if I can clean off more of the silicone on the edges here. And maybe we do check the power factor as well while we're at it. And given these run at such a high voltage, they can't really be drawing current on most of the sine waves, so but this is not chill like it's not popping in shit no it's bent again like how the hell do they get these in at the factory they have this like big ass jig that presses it on the side like how the fuck no yeah this is disastrous Yeah, I've bent it again. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if you want to do this like super proper, you would apply some thermal compound. But again, at 5 watts, this should be a lot cooler than before. So yeah, I'm not super worried about it. It's five watts again, and let's see the power factor. Point four one, yeah, as expected. Pretty pathetic. And yeah, that's about it. I have nothing more to add except these caps back on. And I'll see if I can glue them back on. Yeah, I think I might. But yeah. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you two are upset that they removed the two resistor setup and now you have to desolder and resolder a resistor. Yeah, I feel you, but uh, this was bound to happen. I never understood how the Chinese were actually populating two resistors when they could have had just one. I, I don't know. I think they just copied the reference data sheet from the manufacturers of the chips. And, but yeah, anyway, have a good one.